Newborn babies here are rewarded $500,000 by the state. Medical care and education are free. Even utilities are paid for by the state. It's the only country in the world where there are no poor people, Qatar. Qatar is rich in oil and gas resources, work three hours a day. Wages start at $10,000 and you don't have to pay taxes. Even if you lie flat at home, the state will give you $2,000 a month. The most enviable thing is that a man can marry four wives. But Qatar has no immigration policy. In the past, the only way to get status was if you were a woman married to a Qatari man. In 2018, Qatar introduced an investment camp policy to develop some remote areas. As long as you invest $200,000 in one of Qatar's 10 planned areas to be developed, you can apply for permanent residency, but there are only 100 spots available each year. The air conditioners are installed outside to cool the air. There's no income tax. Whatever you earn is yours. Qatar is the richest country in the Middle East with a land area of only 11,511 square kilometers. It has the 13th largest oil reserves in the world, with 2.5 billion tons. The population of Qatar is only 2.94 million of which about 15% are Qatari citizens, and the remaining 85% are expatriates mainly from India, Pakistan, and Southeast Asian countries. And Qatar has no diplomatic relations with Israel. Travelers with Israeli visas or entry-exit stamps in their passports may be at risk of being denied entry. Qatar is bordered by Saudi Arabia to the south and Iran to the north across the Persian Gulf. Qatar has only two seasons, winter and summer, especially in June and July when the temperatures are so high. What you see here is not a sewer. In order to keep the temperature down outside, they put air conditioners outside, and there's an air vent just a few meters away. Do you like this country? Follow me and I'll show you a different world.